we based our analyses on the Quran as our primary source. Now, some people will say, oh, but what about all the hadith, right? Uh, well, the hadith, from a historian's perspective, are not a primary source. Why? Be they're not a primary source because the writing down of hadith is separated from the historical Muhammad by 150 to 200 years, if not more. So hadith books like Bukhari, uh, Muslim, Tirmidhi, uh, Ibn Majah, Abu Dawood, these are the names of Sunni hadith books. These hadith books are written in the 800s and the 900s. The historical Muhammad lived in the 600s. So that's a 200 year separation. So a historian does not really use the hadith for information on the historical Muhammad. They, they don't really help. Now, on the other hand, when we talk about this maybe a bit in a bit, a traditional Sunni Muslim does rely on their hadith. However, they still look at the hadith critically because the hadith in terms of whether a hadith is actually true or not, there is still doubts about that. The best type of hadith from a Sunni theological perspective is a mutawatir hadith. That means the hadith is mass transmitted. Most hadith don't meet that criteria anyway. So even then there's a bit of an issue. But if you're looking at this historically, let's say you're not a Muslim, or maybe you are a Muslim, but if you're not Sunni and you don't use the Sunni hadith and you just want to know, what did this person named Muhammad teach? What did this person believe in? What did he preach? The Quran is your primary source.